Hello everyone, Gameshark here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install advanced mods using Smappy. Smappy is a modding tool for Stardew Valley that allows you to use advanced mods such as cheats. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do a tutorial on this, so I am listening and I'm going to give you guys what you want. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is go to the Google homepage. Now we are simply just going to type in Smappy, so S-M-A-P-I, search, and you need to click onto the top link which says releases, and then it's pathoschild slash smappy.github, that's the website you want to click on, and then you want to download the latest version which is always at the top of the page, and it's just a 1.15.1, if there is a newer version then, then it will tell you the latest version right there, you want to go ahead and just download that, now once you have downloaded that you just want to drag it onto your desktop, well this is what I do anyway because it's a, a nice plain working area and then you want to go and extract this. So you're going to need an extract tool. I use WinRAR, I'll put a link in the description. So you're just going to drag it, right click and press extract here. And now that is extracted you can access that folder. So before we go ahead and install this, we're going to want to back up our saved data. Just in case something goes wrong because mods do have a chance of corrupting your save files and that is the last thing that we want. We are going to go and back up our save files. The first thing I always do is go to the search bar, I'm using Windows 10 and type in percent app data percent. This will bring up a file folder, if you click on that, if you go into Stardew Valley, there is a folder called saves. Now to back this up I simply just copy the whole folder and then you want to go ahead and put this into another folder. I have got a Stardew Valley folder separate called saves and then I just go ahead, right click, paste, obviously I'll replace this file because I've already got my backup saved and now that is saved from your computer. If you go ahead in that folder it will tell you all of your saves that you are currently using and there's another way to do this which I recommend is going to Steam, find the game Stardew Valley, you want to right click on this and find backup game files. Mine's not going to let me back up the save files right now because apparently it's updating but normally you just you go ahead and just press OK and you rename it and which folder you want it to back up to and you just simply press OK when you back it up and your save files will be backed up from Steam. I've already done that anyway so I'm not going to go ahead and do that but now our save files are backed up through Steam and also through your computer. So now we want to go ahead and install Smappy into Stardew Valley. So you want to go ahead and go into your computer, Windows, Program Files 86, find Steam and then go into Steam Apps, Common and then find Stardew Valley and this is the area you want to be. You don't want to click into any other folder just yet, you want to just stay in the main Stardew Valley folder. And now we're going to go ahead, go into Smappy, the one that we've just downloaded, the latest update. Go into the folder, click on Internal, pick which platform you want to use it on, so Windows. And then you want to literally copy all of this contents in the folder drag it over and paste everything into this it's going to ask me to replace it because I've already done it for you guys who haven't got this or you've not got the latest version it will replace and it will put all of the new contents into this folder I've already done so so I'm not going to go ahead and do it as you can see all of these files here I have now got into the main Stardew Valley folder so Smappy is now into your game now once you have dragged over the latest version of Smappy you will get a new folder called mods so if you click into this, all of the advanced mods you download, you want to go ahead and put into this folder called mods. Let's go and download a mod and I'll put it into this folder and then we'll run the game and see if it works. So the website that I use is nexusmods.com, Stardew Valley. I'll put a link in the description for you guys. So the mod I am going to do today is the item spawner mod. It is called CJB item spawner. So if you just type in CJB, you'll come up with all of his mods that it uses. I'm going to do the item spawner. This is obviously a cheat mod where you can spawn in any item in the game. So you want to go ahead, find the mod that you want to use, press download manual, it will take you into the files. You want the latest version which this one is 1.9 and it even says it requires Smappy 1.5 or later. So you want to download manually. Continue with my download, it's just letting you know that you're going to need Smappy for this mod. Once that's downloaded, drag it onto the desktop so you've got a nice working area. You want to do the exact same thing, you want to extract this folder to get into it, which you use, I'm using WinRAR, like I said, the link's in the description. So now we have got the CJB item spawning mod, the main file. So now we want to go back into the folder that was in earlier, the, the Smappy folder which said mod. So it's just this folder here, you want to go into the mods and then you, you want to just simply drag over the item spawn and place it into the mods file on Smappy. And it's as simple as that. That mod is now in the game, Smappy is in the game, and the mod should work. Your save files are backed up. So now let me go into the game and I'll show you the item spawner mod working. Now for these mods to work, you need to run the Stardew Valley 
modding application. You can't use the normal Stardew Valley application. Now, when you go into the main Stardew Valley folder, you'll see an application called Stardew Modding API. This is the application you want to open for the mods to install. Now, this is the basic application, the one I'm hovering over right now. That's just the Stardew Valley basic application. If you do not want to use the mods, you can just run that application and it will work as normal. But obviously, if you want to use the mods and you want the mods to work, you need to load up the Stardew Modding API application. This will make all of the mods work. So we're going to go ahead, double click on the application and load the game up. And you can see it's loading up saying preparing Smappy starting game. It'll load up all the mods. It'll tell you if they are working. Now let's go ahead and check out the game. Okay, so we are in the game. Now the mod should work. Now if you've got the item spawner or you want to use the item spawner, to access the cheat menu, you want to press I on your keyboard. CJB item spawner. This is the main cheat menu. Now like I said, this is obviously a basic item spawner. So any item you want to use in the game or you want to find, you can search through all of the items in the game and just spawn them straight in without having to purchase them or find them obviously this is an advanced cheat okay so you don't want to use this cheat item spawner if you are at the beginning of the game and you're new to it this is basically a cheat for the advanced people who have completed the game they're getting a little bit bored with it they want a little bit of fun okay so you can actually choose the quality of the item you want to spawn in so you just press the quality button once and it will turn everything to silver press it again it'll be gold and then again and it'll turn everything to the iridium quality which is obviously the most valuable and then you can go ahead and search whatever item you want for example let's search the nightmare crop the red cabbage the item that i really want on the community center one year challenge so now we've just spawned in 999 iridium quality red cabbages if you want to go ahead and just spawn in one item or a few you can simply just right click press it once and you'll spawn in one item or if you hold down the right click you can spawn in as many as you want or if you hold down the shift button and then right click on it it will half the amount you want to spawn in so it will half 999, we've now got 530 something. That is how to install Smappy, that is how to use Smappy, and also we've showcased the item spawner mod, which is one of my favourite cheat menus. It is simple as that, let's go ahead and sell all these red cabbages just for fun, let's see how much money they can all make, why the hell not. And there we go, red cabbages made us 2.5 million. That is the end of this video, hopefully this tutorial was very helpful for you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do this kind of tutorial video. I have done the basic modding tutorial for the visual mods, which don't require Smappy, so now I've done the advanced version. It's quite, it's quite simple, it's quite easy, as long as you back up your save files guys, you will have no problems whatsoever. Thank you for watching, until then, I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Y'all should be happy for the man, y'all should be happy for the man Ain't got a plan but I know where I stand Smoking a gram, I'm trying to make a grand, yeah Bills in my fist, girls on my list I curb the thirst, hit the gist Yo, check the rest, check the rest I ain't got time for the time that you missed All black, h and I know you out here hating him Yo, city, yes, I'm invading them I see my team, you ain't facing